Welcome everyone to another extreme off road silly build and today we're dealing with a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. It has an 880 horsepower 7 litre V8 and it weighs 2774 pounds. So there's a couple of issues I can see with this. One, it's still on 1957 suspension. Two, it was never and two it was never meant for all wheel drive. Plus it was also never meant to go off road either, so yeah. This could be a bit problematic or it could be very very quick because it's not all that heavy even and it's got a fair bit of power. Anyway, let's see what happens. You can see it's fairly quick. In fact, that's got the aerodynamics of a boat or a barge. <laughs> Suspension on this is not made for 880 horsepower. Like four times the amount I had originally. I have to say, it's handling the jump is alright. Steering or anything yet, so it's handling the all wheel drive aspect of the fun. Jump coming up now, can it handle it? Yes, it can. Rising. Rather well, to be honest. Well, I don't think it's going to be all that quick. Certainly not in comparison to a couple of vehicles that we've uh, had previously. Oh. Damn it, missed that checkpoint. Trying to cut the corner far too much. Gets to these tight twisted corners because it's understeer a bit, which is to be expected. It's got a big V8 at the front, and yeah, it's also got the all wheel drive aspects, and uh, it's not ever meant to handle that. You can't even handle in the first place, but you know, <laughs> it oversteered into that building just then, so. Oh, we're sub 2.30, so it's not the slowest we've had by any means. Pretty quick, uh, better than I was expecting, so yeah. Not a bad car, especially for its age. I mean, it is 58 years old, so... <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, There's a bit of a glitch with the bonnet there, that's probably because we crashed it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.